Hi, once again, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And in this video, I want to give you the differences and the definitions of GPM and PSI, or gallons per minute and pounds per square inch. What are they and really how does it pertain to your pool? Well, uh, let's start with the PSI or pounds per square inch. Basically what that is, is the pressure, um, or really it's called pound force per square inch, it's more more technical term for it. It's the pressure from a force of one pound, of one, force, of one pound of force applied to one square inch. And this is what you measure your sand cartridge and DE filter. Um, now you're probably familiar with this picture right here, that is a PSI gauge, which again can be found on sand cartridge and DE filter. Uh, this will tell you when uh, it's time to backwatch. It's very, very important to keep this in good working order uh, because you, you want to backwash uh, once it gets five, uh, eight to ten pounds over your just your just backwashed pressure. So this is a PSI gauge. And that's pretty much the definition of what PSI means. Now, what is gallons per minute? Well, here's my nice little diagram here. Now, gallons per minute is how many gallons are being returned back into the pool. So you have skimmers and bottom drain and all that, so the water finds its way through here, being drawn by the pump. It's filtered and returned back to the pool as filtered water. Now, how many gallons per minute are actually being filtered and being returned back into the pool? That's your gallons per minute. Now, normal or normally for residential uh, pools, um, I found about 50 gallons per minute is the average for commercial pools. When I was the pool operator for the YMCA, they would run about 260 to 280 gallons per minute. Now, how did we know what the gallons per minute ran? Well, you need a GPM meter, and this is what that looks like. Okay, I don't know if you've ever seen that before, but this is a gallons per minute meter, uh, and this is pretty much almost the same kind that I had at the Y. Now, how this works is fairly simple. And then you come over here and get a good shot. <coughs> On this side, you can see the, not, the markings right here. On this side is the GPM, and on this side is LPM for gallons per minute and liters per minute. And it ranges from 100 to 300. So as the water comes in, this is a mail in, as water comes in, there's a hole right here. The water comes in and it goes up into the chambers. Now there's this little metal piece right here. It looks similar to like a battleship piece. Remember that old old game, the battleship with the with the little little plastic pieces? It's very similar to that. And as the water comes up into the chamber, this little metal piece rises and it floats. And wherever it floats is where your gallons per minute are. Okay, it's a very simple way to know what your GPM is. Um, so, and they're fairly easy to install if you want to install them. Uh, again, I mean, they're, they're very, very simple. There's no electrical parts to it or anything else like that. So, you have your, your pipe right here. Uh, just going to give you kind of a, a dry run through this, you know, just a general idea of how this works. So, what you do is you drill a hole in your, in your pipe and you simply take the meter and you stick that down on there. Now, this part right here, I think you can see this, this black piece right in there, um, it, sh it should come with a seal. It's like a, 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 a rubber piece and it has a hole right there that's cut, that fits over the bottom end and that's the seal. So you just drill the hole in there, you put that on there, and this is curved as well, so it's not flat, it's curved like that, the entire bottom to fit over the pipe. And then what you do, once, once, you, get that, once you get that on there, like that, the edges right here, you can take a clamp, obviously not this big, but you take the clamp and you just put it over each end of the, uh, 
the meter and you're set. So that's a very simple way of measuring your gallons per minute and also what your PSI gauge is. So hope I helped you out. Um, I just wanted, wanted to do this video because I've gotten uh, quite a few questions about what's gallons per minute, how do I measure it, what's the pounds per square inch and things like that. So hopefully give you the information that you need. So I don't need that anymore. Uh, like, subscribe, comment on this channel and please check out the description box. It has a link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Well, that's a great information over there. So until next time, I'm Robert here with Clean Pool and Spa. Be safe and happy swimming. Bye.